What's going on, y'all? Welcome to day number two of my 41 reasons why you should take an improv comedy class in 41 days. Hitting all the social networks with different types of content, each one highlighting a different reason. Today is one of my all-time favorite improv notes to give, and it's this. Improv teaches you to hold your ideas tightly, but with an open fist. Now, what do we mean by that? We mean we don't want you to go into these improv scenes with, the, with it all already mapped out, thinking that after this is gonna be this, is gonna be this, because we, because things change, things will shift, and we want you to be able to shift with it. We want you to be able to roll with the punches. Um, if you're the kind of person who sets plans, has this really strict itinerary, and then you get all stressed out and upset, and it just throws you off when something changes, then I'm talking to you specifically. If that's not you, there's probably someone in your friend group or your family who acts this way. They mean well, they mean well. They, they, they want to plan everything out, but when the slightest thing changes, they it, it can ruin their night, it can throw them for a loop. And improv teaches you to be the kind of person who is not phased by that. You understand that things will change. You hold your ideas like this, not like this. So here's an example of a real improv scene that, um, that, that, that highlights this, okay? Let's say that me and Erica are doing a scene and I say to Erica, you know, um, I'm the doctor, she's a patient. And if I tell her that, you know, her test results have come back and everything is showing up positive, I'm sorry for the bad news, but you know, you got 24 hours left to live. Go with me here, okay? So um, I say that. Erica doesn't have to respond in a sad way. She doesn't have to have a, uh, a scene where she's reacting in a way that is, you know, sad and upset and she doesn't, she doesn't have to do that. She can do whatever she wants. She might take that information and be like, hmm, 24 hours? It's time to have the best last day of my life. So suddenly, she's taking this scene which may have had negative connotations and she's making it into something positive. Now me, as the doctor in this scene, I need to be willing to go with that. Sure, I can keep giving her bad news, but what is she gonna keep doing? She's gonna keep receiving it in a positive way. And that is what is interesting and funny about this scene. So that's an example showing you how improv can keep you in the moment. It can keep you so present that you're not obsessing over what's happening in the future. You're not trying to solve the puzzle right away. You are embracing that this is a puzzle. You are loving that you are in the process of figuring something out. I mean, you've heard that thing, it's like life is not about the destination, it's about the journey. I mean, that's what we're talking about here. Holding your ideas like this is the way to be because you accept the fact that things might change. You accept that it is beneficial to be open to anything. People who are this way are fun to hang out with. They are good people to have in your social circle. You don't wanna have a bunch of people in your social circle who are hell-bent on keeping things exactly aligned with what the game plan was. Some planning is good. This is not a, um, I'm not roasting the concept of planning here, but I am, I am, I am going at the idea of being unflexible. Improv teaches you how to be flexible. So if you want to practice holding your ideas tightly with an open fist, like this, not like this, like this, then you owe it to yourself to explore learning improv. I am doing 41 reasons why people should take an improv class over the next 41 days. Again, this is day number two. If you wanna get involved with my online improv classes, I have students and clients all over the world who are all taking improv classes for different reasons. So whether you want to make your marketing campaign funnier, you wanna be a more confident speaker, or you just miss being creative and playing with others, because a lot of us adults do not make time for that. And you can tell because, you know, we are, um, a lot of adults aren't as, uh, aren't as happy as they could be. You know, maybe it's affecting their mental health or they are just um, in their head so often. If any of this sounds like you, again, you owe it to yourself to explore learning improv and seeing how it can make you a more confident, charismatic communicator. Send me an email, 
go at hellyescreative.com, put the word improv in the subject line, happy to open up a dialogue with you about ways for you to get involved, whether it's a one-on-one -on -one workshop or an ongoing series, or if you want to do uh, my group coaching program. So um, holler back, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for hanging out and listening to me uh, talk and talk and talk about improv. There's a lot more coming. I appreciate you hanging out and I will see you next time. See ya.